motorbike production is at such a high pitch that home market orders are met within three months. And the two-wheeled wonders are not the only ones that lead the world. The three-wheeled Bond minicar has a mighty selling attraction. It does 100 miles to the gallon. With models like these, British manufacturers are sure to maintain the record of one of the nation's most successful industries. For budding virtuosos, there's a two-foot baby grand, 25 pounds, but for export only. Miniature piano, midget motor. The minicar, one and a quarter horsepower, three-wheeler, produced by Preston designer Lawrence Bond, takes the road at a farthing a mile. Britain's cheapest car, just under 200 pounds, has 4,000 overseas orders already lined up. It packs a single-cylinder, two-stroke engine mounted on the front wheel. Top speed 50, 100 miles to the gallon. Would you like it wrapped or will you carry it? While Raymond Mays won the hill climb in an ERA, here is the car that attracted all the attention. It's a midget bond and can do more than 40 miles an hour. The 16-year-old twins, Janet and Jennifer Allman, cast approving eyes on the Bond minicar. Lambretta handlebars inspired windmill girls to do the twist. Now see what looks like the world's smallest car, the Peel, made in the Isle of Man. A 50cc two-stroke with three speeds. There's one thing other drivers will envy. It presents no parking difficulty whatever. But as it's not easier to see, you simply must remember where you left it. Whether you prefer the more leisurely auto cycle or a high-powered motorbike, there's something to suit every pocket. What about a three-wheeler? This is the Bond minicar, and now the Gordon. This economy car only weighs just over 600 weight. Cheap running and accessibility for easy maintenance are attractive features of these three-wheelers, while parking is just child's play. It's a comfortable ride, whatever the surface, at only three farthings a mile. The latest version of the Bond minicar. How'd you like that? Or would you prefer this aerial at 400 pounds, the most expensive of the motorbikes? Finally, the Bond police scooter. Well, if that's a scooter cop, I'd be delighted to be run in any day. Talking of Bond, their latest three-wheeler is fitted with a Hillman Imp engine. It'll touch 80 and do 50 to the gallon. For a man in a hurry with just 30 pounds more to spend, here's another GT with a home-built label. It's the Bond they keep. Under the bonnet, a Triumph Spitfire engine. In the boot, an almost magical capacity for such a compact four-seater. Most of the car's made of glass fibre. Light, no rust. Most of the time you're in it, you want to go fast, no hanging around. Now a familiar shape with most of its innovations under cover. The new Ford Corsair has a V in its bonnet. A new V4 engine with a choice of one and a half or two litres. Are you short of petrol? Then how about the mini car? Or the Corgi? Many thousands have been sold all over the world. 